Trains are one of the most useful and successful forms of transportation ever. When the first steam locomotives were made in the early 1800s, the way we transport freight and people was changed forever. In America, trains connected the West Coast to the East Coast and created the country we have today. Trains, however, come with one major caveat. They are bound by their tracks. Newton's first law of motion states, a body in motion remains in motion unless acted on by an outside force. Modern trains can pull between 10 and 20,000 tons or 20 to 40 million pounds. The distance needed to stop a train of this magnitude can be upwards of a mile at minimum. And being bound by their tracks, for this reason, at crossings, the train must be given the right of way to all other forms of transportation at all times. The amount of force a train can project onto another object is immense, making train crossings incredibly dangerous. For this reason, train crossings are given extra precautions for motorists and pedestrians, such as flashing lights, crossing gates, and train horns. There's another precaution you may have never given notice to. There are two train crossing signs at every train crossing. One that looks like this, and another one that looks like this. Why are there two different signs? And what is the purpose of each? Something you may have never taken notice of before is that road signs have very specific color schemes for very specific purposes. For example, you likely associate an orange sign with construction. However, you will never see this color sign in any other place for any other purpose. This is because orange is for construction only. The two colors in question are white and yellow. White signs are regulatory, while yellow signs are warning. A regulatory sign indicates a rule or law that is always in effect, whereas a warning sign is used to alert someone of potential hazards or situations. A perfect example of these two is speed limit signs. The white sign indicates the true allowable speed for the roadway in the area of the sign, and any speed exceeding this could result in an infraction. Whereas the yellow sign is used to indicate a cautionary speed, often at a turn. While for whatever reason this speed might be recommended, it is not technically required. When we return to our train crossing signs, we will find that the meanings are in the colors. At the train crossing for all public access roadways, an R15-1 crossplug sign will be placed at the railroad crossing, indicating that the driver is required to yield the right of way to rail traffic at all times. At particularly dangerous crossings, a crossing gate, yield sign, or stop sign may also be included. The yellow W10-1 Highway Rail Grade Crossing Advance Warning Sign that's it, mouthful, is placed at an appropriate distance ahead of the railroad crossing to alert drivers of the upcoming crossing. This is done before they can become surprised by the crossbook sign in crossing, potentially without having adequate time to react. When tracks are placed close to an intersection, you may see instead a W10 by two, 10 by three, or 10 by four sign if there isn't adequate room to fit the 10-1 sign first. On crossings with particularly low traffic, the W10 by one sign might just be avoided altogether. Which sign do you like better? Leave your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. And 
Thank you for watching.